excited now to be joined by Aaron Jones. Aaron, how's it going, man? How you feeling? It's going great. I'm feeling great. Uh, you know, recovering from the season, getting my body back. Yeah, I bet it's a nice like. <sighs> it is. It is. But I never, I never really stopped working out or sure. training. So you know, it's, I feel like once you stop and you take like two, three weeks off, four, four weeks off, it, it's it's hard to get back into it. So yeah. I never really stop. I, I I won't run. I'll still lift off. There you go. Yeah. I mean, running sucks anyways. It does. <laughs> It's hard and on the running, joints. And I play running back. <laughs> yeah, you do it. You do enough running for like a few months out of the year. You can take a break the rest of it. Not that you need permission from me, but shoot, I, I think that's the right decision. You've been busy doing a lot of interviews. I have. I haven't been enjoying it, making my way around Radio Row. What's the one question that you've been asked that you're like sick of of being asked? About A Rod. Yeah, well, I know. I right? mean, I'm like, I can't. Cause I, I don't know what he's doing. I can't control. It. I mean, he's going What's into like happen? his dark retreat or whatever. What? Do you, how would you know what to say? I mean, it's like enough already. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't. I give him the space, you know. Uh, let it, let him do him, and when he's ready. I've been asking everybody that so that you know, I don't ask you the question that you're not asking. So that's the last time we'll talk about Aaron Rodgers. Hey, that's a about? that's a great way to do it. Hey man, I let you guys dictate this a little bit. Uh, you you get asked the same thing every day. What's uh Jamar Chase said earlier? He's like. I'm sick of people asking me about, like, what's my relationship with Joe Burrow? Watch the games. That's my relationship. So, you know, it's, like, it's good to hear what you guys don't want to talk about. But you are here um, with us today to talk, you know, just basically talk about, the, we, we, talk about this whole thing. I mean, this season for the Packers was an interesting one. I feel like offensively you guys transitioned a little bit. Um, you know, previously it's all about the passing game with Devontae and Aaron. I feel like you guys kind of became a little bit more of a defensive-centric running game team later in the season, and that sort of springboarded you guys to a little bit of run to the end there. Uh, yes, sir. I definitely think uh, that that helped us. Uh, you know, I've kind of we found an identity. Like you said before, we, we had always been like a pass-first team, and uh, with us having like a newer core, like receivers and things like that, we knew it would take time. And so they, we finally made that switch, and we start, like you said, we start uh, having some success. We made that jump and showed everybody, like, hey, we, can, we're still the same Packers, yeah. you know. Uh, we just got started w uh, way too late, you know. So not way too late. We still had a chance to make the playoffs, and uh, just came up a little short. But we'll be better for it. You lost to a good Lions team there at the end. I mean, that's a team that's definitely on the come up. You got a former teammate there, Jamal Williams. Um, it's funny. You know, I knew about Jamal for you know years when he was with the Packers, stuff like that. But he it feels like he had like sort of a national sensation breakout this year. And now, like everybody's talking about Jamal Williams. What was he like as a teammate uh, early on in both your careers? Uh, he's not. I wouldn't even call him a teammate. I call him my brother. Yeah. Uh, we our families are super close. Uh, we did an interview yesterday together. Um, that's awesome. So that's my. Uh, that's always going to be my brother. I'm um, super super happy for him. Super proud of him. Uh, you know, he puts in a lot of work, and uh, for him to. For him to finally reap the benefits is great. And Jamal, he's a high energy guy. Yeah. And the energy is contagious. Like you, you'll feel it, and you, you'll put out the same energy. You give it back to him. Uh, and so I, I love, I love playing with Jamal. Yeah, it's just cool. It feels like he's a guy who's totally comfortable just being himself, like wearing his heart on his sleeve type of thing. Oh yeah, he doesn't care if you're judging him. He doesn't care. He's gonna be him and do what he wants to do. And like you said, the other guys feed off that too. It's it's like in any workplace, you know, if somebody's putting out good energy, putting out good vibes, you're gonna receive that. If it's if it's bad vibes, you might receive that as well. hundred percent. You're right. And, no, and nobody and nobody likes that. No, uh, not we at talked all. <laughs> early on uh, this past year about fantasy football and you know the experience of the reaction of you in week one you know, a few touches was the big thing in week two you erupted and then everybody's like oh yeah aaron jones yeah yeah aaron jones what was the rest of your experience like with the fantasy community because you said you kind of keep in touch a little bit uh it was a little up and down a little up and down uh, you know i didn't score as many touchdowns as i had in the previous year so some of my some of my owners and managers was a little upset at me but uh i was still putting up some uh good points so uh, I had some people tell me they won their leagues. Some people tell me they lost their leagues because of me. So if you lost your league because of me, pick me up next year, and I won't let you down. I got you. Here's the deal, though. That's on them. You that is what? on them. It, 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 people should be responsible for their own life choices, okay? You know, 100%. You, you're, you're part of the process, but – they put that team together, and you gotta, as a as a man or as a woman, you gotta wear that on, on your own. You know, people yeah, gotta take personal accountability. You know what's worse than the fantasy football people? Who? The people who gamble. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. The that's people who are gambling, thing. they're they're at your head, they're in your DMs, there. Man, that, but that is your choice. To <laughs> that push is a hundred percent your take choice. Your routing number, or your account number, and put it out there. So don't be coming at my man Aaron Jones. A hundred percent. That is your choice. Um, 
I saw a funny tweet the other day. Uh, Cheesehead TV had like a three reasons the Packers should move on from Aaron Jones. I saw you quote tweeted it. What did you think when you saw that, man? I'm like, man, where's the love? Like, <laughs> right. Damn, I've done nothing but pour my heart out on the field and give you guys my all. And you guys want to get rid of me. And I had my best season yet. Uh, yeah. Running the ball wise and re uh, re catching. Uh, so it just like kind of was mind blown when I seen that. And then you got, I'm like, you guys are putting this negative stuff out here and people are reading it. And what if the Packers seem like, yeah, that's, you know what I mean? It's like bad stuff to put out there. Man, I think the, I think the Packers can make their own decisions. A hundred percent. They don't, they don't need to be reading that, but uh, it's always weird. I mean, I wonder what I would feel like if I was like scrolling through Twitter and I see like three reasons that Yahoo Sports should move on from Matt Harmon. I'd be like, Shoot, why'd you write that for, man? But it's crazy because they started backtracking. Like I, like you said, I tweeted at them. Yeah. And then they started backtracking three days later. They're like, three reasons we should keep Aaron Jones. <laughs> Too late. I already unfollowed you, bro. <laughs> oh, man. That's, yeah. You had your one shot. Um, A.J. Dillon, another great player in your backfield. Um, talk to me a little bit about his season this past year. I feel like you guys, again, really found your – your styles and your complimentary games like molding later on as the season went on uh definitely you know uh but i, I feel like we both kind of started a little slow um but we got it going and we we knew that we could produce a lot of energy like i said uh whether it be running somebody over making somebody miss and just getting the sideline juiced uh we need a little bit more juice so getting them juiced and then yeah. they go out there and do their thing but uh i'm so proud of aj he he continued to just con continue sorry continue to just work um, he's gotten better in every aspect, and he wants to continue to get better. Like, we, we talk about it every day. We challenge each other. Uh, we push each other. So uh, it's a great relationship that we have, and that's another guy who's went from a teammate to a brother. Yeah. I mean, that's got to be so cool when you're able to just bond like that as a running back room because not every team is like that. It's, it's really cool, uh, you know, because you want to be that guy. Everybody wants to be the main guy getting all the carries. But uh, when you have somebody who's just as capable – and uh, you know when they're in the game, it's no letdown. Then you're you're okay with it, and we're winning, and we're all having success. And you know that that'll push your career longer, uh, splitting time, things like that. 100 percent makes keeps you fresh and makes you more explosive when you do get those touches. Last thing I got for you here. Uh, again, I'm not going to sit here and ask you like, what do you think is going to happen with Aaron Rodgers? All that, that stuff. I'm not, no no, I'm not gonna, <laughs> not going to do it. I'm not going to do it because that's what we said off the top. But I did mention his, uh, you know, the the dark retreat, that whole thing. Um, what do you like to do in the off season to decompress? If you don't, I mean, maybe you do lock yourself in a dark room. Oh no, days. I don't lock myself in a I, dark I don't, room. I'm not doing that. But I like to hang out with my family, uh, hang out with friends, go out every once in a while. You know, I don't, I don't go out during the season. I just, I'm very homebody, facility home, facility home. So go out every once in a while, uh, get on some water. Lo love water, so love being in water. Get, a, get, go to the beach or. Yeah, I was gonna say beach, lake, lake, uh, pool. Yeah, I love, I love those three. So get, get finally, I mean not finally, definitely got to get to some water. 100%. Uh, that's why I'm down there in Miami training. I love oh, the yeah. water. Oh well, hey, that's a good place, good weather Great to do place. it. Aaron Jones, appreciate your time, man. You're awesome. Always, Thank y'all for having you're, me. You're always welcome here. There will never be three reasons to to move on from. Damn, Aaron Jones that's here. love. <laughs> that's love. Appreciate you, man. Thank you.